I got a new bike. This is what I live for. Two wheels. Sun. When middle-aged guys start throwing cash around at big boy toys, our old ladies start to get a bit anxious. So you gotta assure them, everything's fine, honeybee. I went the extra distance and told her, baby, I need a promotion bike for gigs. She bought it. The story, not the bike. Hop on! This is Sexy AF, my custom Triumph Bonneville. We're gonna go through the history of it, all of the custom parts that I've designed and made myself. This epic tank, there's a lot to unpack, so let's get started. This is a 2009 Bonneville SE that I bought used on Yahoo Auction here in Japan. Low miles, perfect condition. The Bonneville is a beautiful motorcycle off the rack. The length to height ratio, tank size and shape, riding position, but all that said, it begs to be customized. We started with the tank. I wanted something really unique for this bike. For me, customizing a bike is about really making it yours. If you're gonna customize a bike, don't do what everybody else is doing. Stripes, skulls, flames, naked chicks. Sure, I love all that, but this was going to be more than that. A tribute of sorts to my 20 plus years here in Japan. The concept, Botticelli's Birth of Venus. But what if I swapped out the characters with iconic Japanese ones? Venus would be a sumo wrestler, and instead of standing in a shell, He's standing in a wrestling ring. Zephyr is swapped with Godzilla clutching Hello Kitty, and the Hori of Spring is Ultraman, one of the characters I voiced here in Japan. I needed a world-class illustrator to draw my concept. This guy, Court Jones. Take a look at this work. He is so talented. After a series of conversations and weeks of drawing, I got my artwork. Initially, the idea was to wrap the design around the tank. This would be the left side, and this would be the right side. But that idea changed. Next, I needed someone to paint it on my tank. Someone really, really good. Hello. In steps Marcus from Berlin Airbrush. Mind-blowing ability, this guy. He's a world-class painter, a true master. Look at some of his work. These aren't photographs, guys. This is all freehand airbrush painting. He's one of the world's best. So I sent my tank to Berlin. Marcus painted it and sent it back. Oh my, oh, this is amazing. Look at that. It's a masterpiece. Needless to say, I'm very happy how the tank turned out. Marcus expanded the sky and the sea to fill out the top of the tank. And look at how close it looks to the original drawing. It's amazing. Look at the detail he was able to capture with the airbrush. The vibrant colors, the shadows. Look at the skin on Godzilla. This is airbrush mastery. I wanted some of the details on the bike to be a little unrefined. So we made the sides of the tank look a little grungy and industrial. Okay, let's get to the rest of the bike. The stock side covers I was just not happy with. I needed to come up with something that would fit well this kind of industrial urban detail on the tank. So through a lot of trial and error, I came up with an idea of covering these side covers with aluminum leaf. I distressed them and then sprayed them with urethane. A few really thick coats and I think they turned out awesome. The 09 is coincidentally the model year of the bike but it's also my son's birth year. And on the other side, which is the year that I came to Japan. Getting these side covers to the point where I was happy with them was a really long process. Initially, I covered them in copper, oxidized the copper because I thought that I could get the 
blue in the oxidization to look like the blue in the sky on the tank. However, it just didn't match well. So I went back to the drawing board and began to experiment with aluminum leaf, and that was the trick. The seat is a custom leather seat from a company in France called BAC, and I got a kit from them for shortening the tail end. So the seat came with it as well as this rear fender, the license plate mount, as well as the rear brake light, which is an LED. It was a pretty easy process. I took a cutting grinder and cut the back. And absolutely nothing will fit under this seat. So I needed some storage and I came up with this bag, this leather bag, to uh, put my ETC card in. These cables coming out of here are for the ETC, the electronic toll gates here in, uh, in Tokyo and Japan. Put the, the uh, box inside here and these bags worked out perfectly. I found a guy in the States that makes custom bags and uh, I drew up a design and the placements of the straps for securing to the frame. But I think the bags look awesome. I'm really pleased to how it turned out. Stock parts on bikes can be really stodgy. Now, I know safety has to precede beauty, but this sprocket cover is basically just a boat anchor when you have an option like this. This is the Joker sprocket cover and way, way, way more attractive. Sure, your shoelaces could get caught in there if you're wearing shoelaces, but you shouldn't be wearing shoelaces when you're riding a bike. So this is the Tamarit Chain Guard. It's a company out of Spain, and I just like it's less is more functionality. It's just way more attractive than the stock chain guard. Sure, it's more dangerous, but so is motorcycling. This headlight grille is also from Tamarit. The stock tires on the Bonneville SE are a low profile tire, but I felt that these enduro kind of on off road block style tires suited this bike. They're really fat and give a nice volume to the profile of the bike. This custom exhaust is from a company called Gasser Customs. I don't want to speculate on the origin of that name, but I will say that these are fantastic pipes. They're slip-on and it was a really easy installation and they sound so throaty and beautiful. Here in Japan, every two years, we have to pass an inspection. Anything's customized, they have a record of it and mufflers are a big issue here, the noise. So what everybody does is keeps the stock mufflers laying around. When the inspection time comes, we put these back on, we pass, and then we immediately come home and put the badass mufflers back on. Everybody does it. Let's fire it up.
that sound great? I don't think I will ever tire of this bike. These are the Moto Gadget M Blaze turn signals. What I love about these signals is they're so bright. You can see them from all angles, front, rear, sides. The profile is minimal and they're a huge improvement over the stock turn signals on the Bonneville. This is the Bonneville SE 2009 and it comes with a speedometer and also what used to be here, a tachometer. One of them looks okay. Two of them doesn't look okay. So I took one off and I got this great bracket made by a guy in the States. It really slims down the front of the bike. And let's face it, you don't need a tachometer on this bike. It's a five speed, you know what gear you're in and you're always reaching for the sixth gear, which doesn't exist. This is my midlife crisis bike. If you see sexy AF on the streets of Tokyo, give her a wink and a smack on the keister. Who knows, maybe you'll get a ride. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can always buy me a cup of coffee. Details are in the description. And be sure and check out our live streaming channel for live streams all around Tokyo and Japan. Ride carefully, and I will do the same. See you next time.